Hi everyone! My name is Kennedy Holzapple and I will be teaching you how to clean your French horn. So, um, first I'm going to teach you how to oil your valves. Um, this is valve oil. It usually looks like this. This is how I've usually seen them, but I'm sure there are a lot of different types of bottles. The first thing we're going to do is... So we have like these little caps right here. We're going to unscrew them. Usually you should do these one at a time so you don't get the um, caps mixed up because not all of them are labeled. And so what you're going to do, you're going to unscrew the cap of the bottle and just very gently, right here there's like a little peg and you're just going to put one drop. You only need one. You do not need a lot at all. And then you're just going to screw it back on like so. And then you'll just do, depending on if you have a double or um, a single horn, you're going to do all four, or all three. And that will definitely help with having your keys get stuck if your keys are sticky and they don't go down as well. We're also going to put it on the underside. There's a spot where um, when you move your keys, um, there's this little peg right here and you're just going to go right in between there. There's a little line and then you'll just put another drop of oil there. And then they should be very um, smooth when you press down on them. They should be perfect. Next, I'm going to be showing you um, how to grease your slides. So this is the tuning grease slide that I have. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our slides out, which are these things right here. But one thing that you're really going to want to remember when you're taking your slides out is to press down on the corresponding key. So if I'm going to take out this first one, I'm going to press down on the key while I slide it out. Because if you don't do that, then you get this really bad popping noise and that can be really damaging to the instrument. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a paper towel and you're just going to wipe off all the grease from last time or any buildup that has been on the slides. And then once you have it all wiped down, you're going to take your grease in whatever form you have it in. and you're just gonna apply some. Once you're done greasing up your slide, we're just gonna put it right back in. Um, you'll get it lined up and then make sure to hit that corresponding key and you're just gonna slide it back in. Pretty simple and then you'll do that for the other three plus um, you're gonna want to do it to your tuning slide as well and then if you have a B-flat horn then you'll do it to the ones on the back also and the other tuning slide. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, that gurgle sound you sometimes get while you're in the middle of a playing session. So it's actually the spit moving around in your instrument and that it's not ideal obviously um, but the way we get rid of this is to empty out our horn. So usually what I do when I'm in the middle of a playing session and I get that gurgling noise, I will remove my mouthpiece and I'll take out my tuning slide. So this slide right here, I'll just take it out, set it down, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the instrument and move it towards the mouthpiece like this and you're gonna do that two to three times to make sure that all the spit really gets out of the instrument because obviously there are so many twists and turns in here that there are a lot of places it could get stuck. At the end of your playing session what I recommend doing is taking out all the slides and emptying so you're gonna take out your mouthpiece, you can take out your tuning slide, you're gonna take out these three and um, you're just gonna turn it three or four times. This is a pretty basic but necessary process you need to do to keep your horn in good shape. Um, 
I really hope you learned something and that you continue to play because playing French horn is such a great experience. I love it. Um, so happy playing and thank you for watching.